Menace of terror has to be eliminated, says Prime Minister Narendra Modi, addresses rallies in Gujarat. President Ramnath Kovin awards colors to five base repair depot at Air Base Sulur near Hyderabad. Prime Minister Rajnath Singh to inaugurate bowl quit system on inter Bangladesh border in Tubri district of Assam tomorrow. Assam Chief Minister Harbananda Khonwal lays foundation stone of 200 TPD formalin project at Boitamari in Bongaigao district. And in cricket, England defeats India by 41 runs in first women T20 match in Guwahati. Good evening and welcome to the Northeast News. This is Sukanya Bharadwaj and now the news in details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today asked opposition to stop questioning the valor of our armed forces. Speaking after inaugurating various development projects in Jamnagar, Gujarat, he said the entire nation agrees that the menace of terror has to be eliminated. He said all should be proud of our armed forces. Modi said that if India had Rafale aircraft during the recent airstrike on terrorist camps, then the result would have been more positive for us. Referring to Ayushman Bharat, the Prime Minister said India is home to one of the biggest healthcare programs in the world and the coming of this initiative ensures top quality and affordable healthcare for the poor. The Prime Minister stressed on the need for the structural and long-term measures to overcome the challenges the country is facing. ढगलो थे वो गामड़ा मा इले गामड़ा नहीं आखी इकोनॉमी बदलाई गया भाई साढ़ा सात लाख करोड़ रुपया गामड़ा मा ठलबाना होए इले गामड़ा नो मान भी पहला साइड President Ramnath Kovind has asserted that India remains firmly committed to peace but will use all her might to protect her sovereignty if the need arises. Kovind was speaking at a function at Sulur near Coimbatore this morning where he awarded colors to the five base repair depot at the air base at the Hakimpat station that is located near Hyderabad. He pointed out that the valor and professionalism of the armed forces were on display very recently as the Indian Air Force carried out preemptive strikes on the known terrorist camp hinting at the airborne February 26 surgical strike. He lauded the Air Force for being at the forefront of all humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations besides safeguarding the sovereign skies of the nation. To peace, but in case the need arises, we will use all our might to protect the nation's sovereignty. Our armed forces, exemplified by their air warriors who stand before us, reflect our firm resolve to defend our nation. Their Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh will inaugurate the project Bowl Quit Border Electronically Dominated QRT Interception Technique under Comprehensive Integrated Border Management System on India-Bangladesh border in Dhubri district of Assam tomorrow. Border Security Forces is responsible for safeguarding of 4,096 km long international border with Bangladesh. 61 kilometers of border areas in Dhubri district where River Brahmaputra enters into Bangladesh is consisting of vast char lands and in innumerable river channels, thus making border guarding in this area a daunting task, especially during rainy season. To overcome this problem, the Ministry of Home Affairs decided to go for a technological solution besides the physical presence of manpower of BSF. The implementation of this project will help BSF to curb all type of cross-border crimes. Assam Chief Minister Harbananda Khonwal today laid the foundation stone of a 100 crore rupees 200 TPD formalin project at Boitamari in Bongaigao district. The project will be set up by Assam Petrochemicals Limited in association with Assam Government, Assam Gas Company and Oil India Limited. Addressing the function, Khonwal said that over 50,000 crore rupees has been invested in the state after the Advantage Assam Summit, which will in turn create about 45,000 jobs. He urged the youths to work hard for development of the state. The Chief Minister also said that the state government has taken steps for equal development of all districts. 
Industries and Commerce Minister Chandra Mohan Patwari also addressed the function which was attended by Chairman of Assam Petrochemicals Limited, Jagdish Bhuya and other dignitaries. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh dedicated a number of developmental projects to public apart from laying foundation stones of many other works on Sunday. The Chief Minister inaugurated additional structures of Kwakethal Police Outpost Imphal West District, Veterinary Hospital at Mekhola, Hyang Thang, Apunba Community Hall and newly constructed classrooms of Ningombam High School. He also laid the foundation stones of several projects. Speaking on the occasion at Ningombam High School ground, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh said that the prime objective of the state government is to eradicate poverty to maintain equality in the state. The administration should be geared up to achieve this objective, he observed. Later, the Chief Minister also distributed CMHD Ayushman Bharat and Weaver's card to selected beneficiaries apart from giving away sewing machines to some beneficiaries. The ruling Meghalaya Democratic Alliance led by the National People's Party won both Khase Hills Autonomous District Council and Gentia Hills Autonomous District Council election results of which were announced on Saturday. The opposition Congress won 10 seats in Khase Hills Autonomous District Council while 4 seats in the Gentia Hills Autonomous District Council. Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma has thanked the indigenous people of Meghale for the faith they showed to NPP in the recent council elections. He pledged to keep working to bring about a positive change in the state. I assure the people of Gentia Hills and Khase Hills and the whole state of Meghalaya that the NBA government will continue to take the state forward and now, with this new mandate in the Gentil Hills District Council and the Khasi Hills District Council. Mahashivratri is being observed in the country with due religious fervor and gaiety. In Guwahati, people in large numbers visited different Shiva temples in the city and offered puja. The temples on the occasion were decked up with flowers and lights. Sipsaga Shivratri is being observed at the historic Shiva temple Shiva Dol as International Shiva Puja. The Sipsaga district administration along with Dol Development Committee this year organized three-day festival on the occasion of Shiva Puja. The district administration has made elaborate security arrangements and installed CCTV cameras in the Shiva Dol. A mela was also organized on the occasion. Welcome back. In cricket, England beat India by 41 runs in the first women's T20 international in Guwahati today. Chasing a target of 161 runs, India could make 119 for the loss of 6 wickets in the stipulated 20 overs. Dipti Sharma 22 and Sikha Pandey 23 were the top scorers. For England, Catherine Brunt and Lindsay Smith took 2 wickets each. Earlier put to bat, England made 160 runs for the loss of 4 wickets. Opener Tammy Beaumont top scored with 62 while skipper Heather Knight smashed 40. While briefing the media during post-match press conference, Indian women team captain Smriti Mandana said early fall of three top order players led the defeat for the host team. Smriti, who was the leading team for the first time in the shorter format, also stated that team would come up with new strategy next time, working on the mistakes that happened today. In Manipur, thousands of people from different walks marched on the streets of Imphal on Sunday to put pressure on the state government to recommend inclusion of the Métis community in the scheduled tribe list. The rally began at Thangmevan Athletic Union's ground in Imphal and ended at Konong Lampak. Civil society organization members, politicians and students took part in the rally organized by the scheduled tribe demand committee. The demonstrators protested against the Manipur government's silence, saying the Ministry of Tribal Affairs on May 29, 2013 has urged the state government to send a proposal in this regard in reply to a memorandum submitted by the demand committee. 
Nagalan Information Commission conducted a day-long awareness program on RTI Act 2005 with the first appellate authorities, public information officers, assistant PIOs, village councils, town committee, women groups, civil society organizations and RTI activists on Monday at Woka. Chief Information Commissioner Nagalan, Chanmembo Lotha, while giving a PowerPoint presentation highlighted on RTI and the Constitution, enlightening the gathering on the objectives of the Act. He stated that RTI is a tool to create practical regime of right to information for citizens to promote transparency and accountability of public authorities. Manipur Arts and Culture Minister L. Jayanta Kumar Singh has said that research work on Mahatma Gandhi will be endless. Speaking at the valedictory function of the 15-day production-oriented theatre workshop based on the life, philosophy and ideologies of Gandhiji held at Maharaja Chandrakirti Auditorium in fall on Sunday, the minister asserted that despite the shortage of fund, the Art and Culture Department has been putting its best to develop the rich culture of the state. The minister also distributed certificates to the trainees of the workshop. A play on Gandhiji directed by renowned theatre director Wadepa Naba was also shown as a part of the closing function. Manipur Education Minister Thar Radeshyam will donate 10 lakh rupees to Sainik Boat for three consecutive years for the welfare of ex-servicemen of the state. Addressing a Sainik Sanminal held at BJP office in Imphal on Sunday, the Education Minister stated that ex-servicemen are those who once worked at Army, Air Force and Navy with a sacrificing spirit for the nation. He added, though they have retired from their post, they never stop contributing to the nation. BJP Manipur Pradesh President Khaw Bhavananda is short of holding talks with Union Defence Minister Nirmala Shitaraman to deploy Manipur Scout and to extend aid to ex-servicemen. Before we wind up the bulletin, here's a recap of the headlines. Menace of terror has to be eliminated, says Prime Minister Narendra Modi, addresses rallies in Gujarat. President Ramnath Kovin awards colors to five base repair depot at Air Base Sulur near Hyderabad. Home Minister Rajnath Singh to inaugurate bowl quit system on Indo Bangladesh border in Dhubra district of Assam tomorrow. Assam Chief Minister Harbananda Khonwal lays foundation stone of 200 TPD formalin project at Boitamari in Bongaigao district. And in cricket, England defeats India by 41 runs in first women's T20 match in Guwahati. That brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.